So if you're in nursing school, you may have gotten to see blood products being administered or packed red blood cells. However, most schools do not allow you to participate or um, hang the blood product. So you get just to watch it. And But you will be tested on it. And I'm Professor Molly, and I wanna go over some important key tips. Um, I've outlined them specifically in my book, but I wanna talk about the blood band. So you're gonna see this on your patient. You have to fill this out to type and cross or type and screen somebody for receiving uh, blood products so they can make sure that it matches their blood type. And so this is typically a blood band. Um, this pigtail of barcodes are usually left on the patient after you fill this out, you attach a piece of this to the, which includes um, part of the barcodes to the blood bank so they can type and cross or screen them. And then the rest of this is left on. So if you need to get uh, you know, a packed red blood cell, you can just fill off a little sticker and usually somebody can go get that from the lab. This is good for about 72 hours. Most facilities policies are about 72 hours. After that, you have to retype and screen them. So you wanna check with blood bank or check the computer to see if before you, um, if you have an order to type and um, to give a unit of blood, you have to make sure that they're their blood band was still good and they still have, um, it's not expired in the blood bank, in the computer system. So some other things to know is that only RNs can start and administer blood products. After that, vital signs can be taken um, by an LVN or administered to, um, delegated to another professional, but uh, a nurse has to stay, an RN has to stay with the patient for up to the first 15 minutes, which is the most important part of the administration of this product. You have to administer it slow. And the whole blood, packed red blood cells, has to be given within four hours. So bacteria will start to grow in that, um, in that bag. So after four hours, you can no longer, you have to infuse the whole thing. So there's a lot of key tips. Again, I've outlined them in my book. I've got two pages of administering blood products, things you're going to be tested on. So I hope that makes sense and follow me for more nursing tips.